What's up guys, this is your boy Yavich Game and 92 here back with another video for Injustice 2 Mobile and in this video we are going to look at an interesting question posed by one of my subscribers and we are going to break everything down here with regards to classic Wonder Woman and the Dark Metal Cards artifact and we are going to jump into this video right now first with a question and then I am going to break it down step by step as to what is exactly kind of going on. So let's look at the question here. So quick question, how far above the crit damage cap will the dark metal cards allow you to go? Like on classic Wonder Woman, it says 70% above cap at the rate 4 stars. Level 2 cards just say can exceed damage cap. This is very ambiguous. Also, I, can I stack CWW, that is classic Wonder Woman, with cards 4 star to support my 6 star collector of world Superman and 7 star Brainiac? And Collector of World Superman has 290% critical attack damage and maximum CAC already. Do I need both Classic Wonder Woman and cards in that team? Also, never say you have max lack and need CAC out loud. All right, so <laughs> all right, so uh, that's an interesting question, and we are out to set and find out the answer of this particular question. And let's play this video. I've pre-recorded, and I'm gonna explain what's going on. So let's start the video here. This is the question itself. So what I'm doing here is I'm using Batman who laughs and Power Girl for power reduction cost. And this is what I have here. Like you can see critical attack damage for Batman who laughs. This is without any artifacts. So this is the first battle we are going to do. It's going to be without any artifacts. And Batman who laughs has 300% maximum critical attack damage. So if you see that like the rolls it has 175% 40 40 24 24 if you add it up it comes to 303% so it just exceeds the da exceeds the 300% cap I would say uh, but uh, this will also be interesting why you'll get to see in the later part of this video why this 303 this extra 3% is going to be interesting too so this is the like the uh, like the build of Batman who laughs for me uh, let's move on to the part of this video where I'm playing and I am going to jump directly into what I'm trying to do here. So what I'm going to do is test one SP1 on Deadshot. So this is in normal, this is in campaign, this is in normal campaign. And the reason why I'm going to test it out several times with a different uh, like artifacts and like uh, classic Wonder Woman into the game is because it would reflect directly the amount of critical attack damage boost that I'm kind of getting. So uh, let's let's do this guys. Let's do this. So this is without any artifacts and here we go. Here we do a first SP1. Just uh, remember the number here. So I let me just go back a bit. Let's remember the number that we are seeing. Uh, let's jump 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 jump. Where is it? All right, so I kind of forwarded a bit faster. Let me just go back here and here we see the number. So we see the number as 33,316. So this 33,316 is basically 300% damage. That is 303 that you had seen. It is 300% damage of a normal one, of a normal attack. So if, if it's a normal attack, it's going to be 11,000. 106 from the calculation that uh, we could do is just divide by 3 basically it would be 105 but they're considering it 106 and that's why they're putting it as 316 as well so let's let's look at what goes on here and here you could see 11106 flying off so the next scenario is where we are using the dark metal cards artifact and you could see 140% chance boost. That is the critical attack, uh, uh, not chance rather, critical attack damage boost. So this means ideally the critical attack damage on Batman who laughs at this point of time should be 300 plus 140, which means it should be 440% damage, but it's actually, you will see in a while, it would be actually 443 so if I'm just going back to the damage here that's being done let's look at the damage that's being done you can see the damage and here is the damage here it is 49,197 so if you divide this number 49,197 divided by that 11,106 that I mentioned and you also saw it in the game coming up which is a non-crit damage you would see 443 that is uh, like if you're dividing it, you are going to get 443%, 4.43 it's going to come up, 
which means that that extra 3% damage that you had exceeded because like I had 303% critical attack damage is actually counted. That's interesting guys, that's interesting, which means it kind of also paves the way for you to have like maximum critical attack damage built completely on your character and you're gonna get that benefit. So I'm here to test this out, but theoretically this is what it means. So let's look at what happens when we add classic Wonder Woman into the team. So let's look at that. And here is the scenario. I'm adding classic Wonder Woman. This is at three stars and it says no more than 60% above cap. So you get 2% critical attack damage for every 1% of defense. My defense is maxed out, which means I'm going to get the 60% definitely. But uh, at seven stars of classic Wonder Woman, this is just three stars. You get 100% above the cap which means if you have just 50% defense, you're gonna get additional 100% above the cap. So let's let's look at what happens in this particular scenario. And here again, I have the dark metal card artifact on Batman Who Loves, which means like ideally, what I should get is 443% from the previous step. Like I mentioned with the dark metal cards artifact, I'm getting 443% and 60% here, which translates to 503% critical attack damage. But let's see what is the number that we are getting here. So here we are and we are going to do an SP1 and let's pause it here. Oops, uh, let's play the video and let's pause it there again. Uh, the video kind of ended so let me just pause it here again and go step by step step by step step by step we are almost at the end we saw 55 uh, 55,000 damage I believe yep let's do it again and here we are we saw 55,000 damage which actually roughly translates to you know it translates to five times that 11,106 damage that we had seen, which means that extra 3% that was there is now gone. Okay, so it's interesting that if you put the classic Wonder Woman into the team, you're kind of capping the damage cap in a way, but it stacks. The most important thing is it does stack with the Dark Metal Cards artifact. So at the end of the day, from a 300% damage boost, you are ending up getting 500% damage boost. And this is amazing, guys. So if you don't have the Breather Club, if you don't have a lot of fancy artifacts, these are like literally free things. You get Classic Wonder Woman for free. You have already would have gotten it like from the Arena Invasion, as well as you will get the Dark Metal Cards artifact as it is. And uh, this is going to be amazing on any of the characters. So. The title of this video is over 600% critical attack damage. Any idea how you can get that? Definitely. So if you level up the, you know, level up the Dark Metal Cards artifact to say level 10, you're gonna get 200% additional critical attack damage. Level up Classic Wonder Woman to seven stars, you're gonna get 100% additional damage. If you have 300% damage, uh, like critical attack damage on your character, you're getting additional 300% to 600% total critical attack damage. And that's just amazing, guys. That's just amazing. So yeah, that is a bit of far-fetched scenario and definitely far-fetched scenario because it would, uh, you know, require you to level up everything quite a lot. But I believe this is something that I used to test it out is like if you have critical attack damage already kind of maxed out on your gears, and beyond that 300% cap, if you just equip the Dark Metal Artifacts, you might end up getting beyond that 600% as well. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this content uh, and uh, thanks for watching. This is your boy, the Average Gamer 98 over here signing off. You guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done already. And I still don't know how to end videos. Uh, signing off, you guys take care and I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace.